In this video, I'm going to derive the equation for diffraction from a diffraction grating. So first of all, let's suppose we have a diffraction grating, which I'm representing as this vertical line with slits in it. And this diffraction grating is illuminated with coherent light. Let's say the diffraction grating has slits that are evenly spaced a distance d apart. And let's assume that the distance to the screen which is being illuminated with light from that diffraction grating, is very, very far. So far that when the rays arrive at that screen, we can assume that they are parallel. They're almost parallel. And the further away the screen is, the more parallel those rays will be. If you watch the video that I recorded about deriving the equation for Young's double slit interference, in that video, I show that the path difference between rays that arrive in phase on the screen is an integer multiple of a wavelength. So we can use that same idea here. Two rays travelling out perpendicular from the diffraction grating, normal to the diffraction grating, will arrive at exactly the same point and have travelled exactly the same distance. So the path difference will be zero. So we will get a bright spot appearing along the normal to the diffraction grating. And just examining two adjacent rays from two adjacent slits, we can see that the path difference between them is zero. So if we say the path difference is n multiplied by the wavelength, in this case, n equals zero. Now remember, these two rays will converge to a point, but they're so far away that we can consider those rays to be parallel. And that means if we work back from that point, the bottom ray here has travelled an extra bit of distance, a path difference. And if this is the second bright spot, what we can call the first order, n equals 1, absolutely no relation whatsoever to Star Wars, but the first order there, we would say that the path difference is therefore one wavelength. The path difference here is equal to one wavelength, whereas the path difference here is equal to zero. Now let's zoom in and have a look at this small area down here. And you can zoom in online, it's a lot harder to zoom in when you're on a piece of paper. And let's have a little look at what's happening down here. Well, working backwards from that point a very long distance away, when the two waves are here, we know that they are in phase. At this point here, which I can label A, and this point here, which I can label B. They've travelled the same distance. So th this additional bit here has a path difference of n lambda, where in this case n equals 1. But can you see that every time n takes an integer value, we will have a bright spot. There will be constructive interference. This was our diagram. d was the distance between slits, and lambda is the path difference. This angle here is equal to this angle here. And we can call that theta. And that is the angle to the order. So the theta for the first order, the theta for the second order, and so on. We could put a subscript n on here to say it's the angle to the nth order. Now, the further away the screen is, the more parallel these two rays become. And if those rays are parallel, then this is a right angle, but also this is a right angle. So we've got a right angle triangle down here. Because it's a right angle triangle, we've got the opposite and the hypotenuse. We can say that the sine of that angle, sine theta, is going to equal the opposite, which is n lambda, divided by the hypotenuse, which is d. So we can rearrange this now to say that n lambda equals d sine theta. And that is the equation for a diffraction grating.